just love, I met Cheryl, and I just love, you know, one of my friends used to live out here in this house back in the 1800s, because this house has been here for a long time. You know, the railroads used to go back there, as, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just love seeing some of these pictures, it just reminds me back at that time, but I just love that Cheryl's down front of the place, it's just amazing. Cheryl, I love Goose Town Station. We love you too, oh, Eliza, you know, welcome. I tell you, Helen and us and the girls, we would hang out here all the time if we had had this place. Really? Yes. What did yes. you do back in those days? What, what kind of activities did you girls do? Well, we were so busy, you know, our husbands were very involved and uh, we did a lot of stuff with them. You know, we were kind of the wind beneath their wings back in the day. <laughs> and, uh, you know, George. Only back the, in the day? No. Back in the day, yes. You know, George, he started the Golden Transcript, but our whole family was involved with the Golden Transcript. You know, I even wrote for the Golden oh, very Transcript. I, I had a pen name, though. I'm not sure why, but it was Kate Waterton. And, uh, you know, yeah, I wrote back then as well, too. And uh, it wasn't very profitable, the newspaper wasn't. So we actually even started a, we sold sewing machines, if you can imagine, to, to make money. But it was so fun. You know, Buffalo Bill used to come in town all the time. He and George were best friends, and they would, sit on the front porch and rock and rock and I didn't like George drinking. He liked to drink whiskey, by the way. <laughs> so I said, George, you gotta quit drinking. So he got crackers and made whiskey soup. Can you imagine? I can't imagine I mean, this. I think that what? should be a drink, whiskey soup. I think it could I think be. We I could think start it could catch on. Yes, yes. How did you meet your husband, by the way? Um, well, you know, my family was the town founder when uh, Mr. Uh, uh, George West came here in 1859, but my father, was the local judge, uh, Theodore Boyd, yes. And so we came out here with him and George was, he was 17 years older than me and I met him at, well, at a social event over apple pie, if you can imagine. And he was such a terrible cook, he made the worst apple pie I've ever had. I did cook it, had a hot sauce on it, and I thought, oh my lord, this man, he needs a good woman. So there you go, so I married the him. Rest of history. We had a wonderful life. It's wonderful to meet you. It's Thank you for stopping you. by Goose Town.